Hello. How are you doing? Oops. <laughs> Great. How about you? Pretty good. Well, how we... am I playing? You see me clearly. I see you clearly. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> and you well, look beautiful. Thank you so much, Akin. We Charming. are so we are so, so excited about today's premiere of Urkai, Love and Vengeance, Amor y Venganza. Tell us a little about your character, Miran, because most people haven't seen this series, although it's been viral all over the world. But why don't you tell us a little bit more about your character? Exactly. So it's, it's finally the day, eh? Am I right? Finally. I mean, uh, our story will be broadcasted in the States for Hispanic audience. So mm -hmm. I'm also pretty excited. So congratulations for that, I mean, for that journey. Mm -hmm. And finally we made it. Um, so about Miran. Mm -hmm. um, he's a brainwashed character uh, who believes that, I mean, um, he will find love only through taking revenge. I mean, he will find peace um, that he has been looking for in his mm -hmm. life, in his entire life, only through taking revenge oh. from his loved one. Because that's the conflict that mm -hmm. we will present to our audience. Because, like, I mean, the girl he's supposed to take revenge is the one uh, he's gonna fall in love with. Oh, I can tell us three things about Miran that you think created this love for your character all over the world because it's crazy. Uh huh. Okay, three things. Mm -hmm. The first would be the way he loves, mm -hmm. and the second one is his vulnerability, mm -hmm. and the third one is his perseverance. Ooh, and I'm going to add there that your looks didn't hurt either. And also, this this beautiful story takes place in Turkey. And this is a, a great place and a great space for us to explore Turkish culture, which is beautiful. And tell us what you love most about, about Turkish culture. What I, love most, what I like most about Turkish culture, um, I guess pretty similar to Hispanic culture, uh, we, have, um, we have a family-oriented culture and we have strong attachments uh, to those values centered around family. Mm -hmm. um, that's the first thing. And, um, and the second one, which is like, I mean, my other favorite is our hospitality. Mm -hmm. And there's a pretty famous saying in Turkish culture, you are God's guest. Wow. It's like, you know, you got to welcome anyone who comes to your home. Wow. I, I guess like, I mean, it's, that I'm in Turkey. Definitely. You're a God's guest. I, next time I'm in Turkey? Like anyone. Perfect. You will be my guide. I will be your guide, definitely. Perfect. Uh, Akin, now we have to talk about love because this story is very deep into love. So do you think, do you believe that love is the most powerful force in the universe? Yes or no? Uh-huh. Um, I believe it's not only the most powerful force in the universe, but it's the divine force in the universe. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's the fingerprint of the universe. It's, it's a personal take. It's, it's a personal belief, but I believe that there is two main forces in the universe, love and fear. Fear mm -hmm. is the darkness. I'm, I'm lost. There you go. I got, we find you. Okay, you guys lost me. No, we found you again. <laughs> we, we're talking about love. It has high frequency. So, okay. <laughs> you guys lost me. Cool. Um, I'm saying, like, I mean, I believe there, is, there are two main forces in the universe. And one is fear. And the other one is love. And fear is darkness. And mm -hmm. love is the light. Mm -hmm. So, um, what it takes real power is being able to shine in a west of darkness. And that's mm, that, what's love, I guess. That's beautiful. When light wins over darkness. I can also, this series has completely changed your life. I mean, I've been reading and researching all about it, and it's a complete world phenomenon. What do you think? Oh. That, why do you think that this series has had such international success and it's been translated to many languages. Even people watch it in Turkish with subtitles. Um, why do you think this is? 
Um, I guess, first of all, before it's been translated to many, many different languages, so it made sense. That's why, I mean, you know, different countries, like, um, wanted to, like, I mean, translate our story to different languages. And I believe we have the perfect recipe for it. It's a local journey filled with universal feelings. Mm -hmm. um, the familiarity with those feelings um, gives the audience such a space to follow up with our story mm -hmm. and our authenticity. Our authenticity um, makes people surprised. So mm -hmm. I always use that analogy, and I'm going to repeat it again, but it's such a food that tastes so familiar, mm -hmm. but it's something you've never seen. Mm. It's cooked in a way, in such a unique way, it's never been done before. And I guess, like, I mean, it's the perfect recipe. And I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that we have, we had a, such a qualified team to make that happen. Because it was such a hard challenge. And we made it. You Don't made you think it. So? You made okay. it Thank all over you. the world. Now, tell us about your romance, because this romance, I don't know if it could be possible in real life. Do you think that this could actually happen in real life, the romance that you have with Rayan? Um, we'll see. <laughs> My take is, uh, we'll see. My take is, um, our, uh, like, I mean, our story has a poetic... Am I back? You're back. We got you. I'm back. Cool. cool. <laughs> Sorry for some, I mean, technical problems. Um, so, uh, like, we, our story has a poetic language, mm -hmm. and it's purely based on dramatic conditions. As a result, it produces heightened feelings, heightened actions, and heightened romance, which is mm -hmm. hardly fine, which is hardly possible in real life. Mm -hmm. However, um, I guess it's not the point at all. Because the point is, um, at least witnessing one human being mm -hmm. inspired by our story, taking mm -hmm. an action by, like, I mean, inspired by our story. Mm -hmm. um, and it will open up much more possibilities than what we could present with our story. Totally. And that's what I look for, you know. Um, I if we can inspire some, at, at least one human being, you know to take an action with all those heightened feelings, mm -hmm. um, then I guess, like, I mean, I did what I'm supposed to do. Like, so, uh, what I intended as, a, as, an, as an actor and as a storyteller. Akin, this is a personal question for me because I've seen your amazing work. I have saw that you lived in the States and then you, you went back to Istanbul and Turkey. What was your favorite memory while filming this beautiful series? What was my favorite memory while mm -hmm. I was filming this series? Okay, yes. cool. Um, I guess, let me think about it, but um, especially the first day, mm -hmm. probably. And um, it's far away from your home, mm -hmm. far away from your loved ones. You just have one dream with a big crew in Mesopotamian lands. Wow. And... The, the, the moment I got into media where we filmed this series, mm -hmm. I will never forget that moment. Um, because, like, I mean, it's really journey to the unknown with mm -hmm. a dream. And now we are having this interview. Our story has gone beyond the local borders and now so reached you guys. And tonight is going to be broadcasted. So that's, that's amazing. amazing. Finally, I can, before we leave, why okay. people miss this series and this premiere tonight? Why do we have to watch it? Yes or yes? Why do you have to watch it? Mm -hmm. Because it tells you that uh, you should never lose your faith in believing love. Mm. And we all need it. We all need to remind about it. I mean, we all need to, like, uh, remember about it. Uh, and it reminds you that, you know, there is um, such feelings in our life and maybe we can root all those in our real life. So um, I think it's, it's worth of, you know, taking that inspiration.
Akin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your art. Uh, we are so excited to see you. I think that you will cause a crazy, crazy scene and everyone in the United States in our Hispanic community will love you because you are so nice, you're so talented, and you're also extremely good looking. So I think that is the perfect recipe. Thank you. So much for your time and we wish you nothing but the best and a lot of success and hopefully when I'm in Turkey you will be my tour guide. Promise I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> There we have it. Now before we leave why don't you say no se pierdan el cae esta noche. No se pierdan el cae esta noche. Oh that was perfect. Vale. That I'm working <laughs> on it. Huh? That was doing good. Thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. We send you big kisses all the way to Istanbul. Bye. Bye-bye.